the spiritual soldier the religious warrior has to be extremely intelligent hmm you could go to the extent of saying that he has to be cunning in the service of the truth i am choosing this word with all deliberation he has to be cunning in the service of the truth cunning enough to beat the most cunning ones the difference between the cunningness of the two is that all the cunning ones have cunningness at their core the soldier of truth has truth at his core and cunningness at the service of truth are you getting it just go to the battle of mahabharat there are so many occasions when krishna tells arjun this is not the time to pick up drone just obediently respectfully go past him today is not the day arjun don't pick up this battle and then he tells drone won't give up his arms so easily has to be ashwatthaman hato narova kunjurova getting it first of all you have to have krishna at your center and if you have krishna at your center use maya very liberally that's what my teacher says ja thagne thagini thagi ta thakko adesh she cheats all hmm but she can be cheated no need to remain a simpleton the image that we carry of the prophets the saints the sages the rishis is very misleading the way they have been presented to us is very conducive to our falsenesses and darknesses we have been told that they were fellows who really did not have much to do with what was going on in the society hmm almost like handicapped grandfathers at home who can do little except dispense sage counsel right that's what all the oldies do at home octogenarians and nanogenarians the fellow is 94 what else can he do he sits all day and talks well, to the extent possible that's how we have painted our sages right they were the ones who were not capable of doing much but they kept on talking of all the nice things in life they kept dispensing moral values probably you should be good as he said do not lie to people sada satya bolo so this kind of model of spirituality i say is conducive to nothing but falseness evil irreligiosity the man of truth has to be extremely sharp here and this sharpness has to be devoted to this this has to be used as a resource everything that you have has to be used as a resource 
you know business management yes i'll use that in the service of the truth you know a language yes i'll use that whatsoever you have including your cunning yes i have a sharp intellect when everything is to be used for the sake of truth why not your sharpness why not tell me hmm? you have to beat them at their game and you will beat them because they play for themselves so a point will come when they'll be afraid they have too much at stake they are doing it for their their own self you play the game for something beyond yourself you'll never be afraid in spite of drastically fewer resources you will still beat them because you'll not be afraid hmm a part a huge part of their resources will go towards defending their self and as far as you are concerned everything that you have can be applied deployed <laughs>